this video we'll talk about quick sampler in logic pro with this plugin you can instantly create a sampler instrument with only one audio file if you want to work with multiple files and create instruments it's better to use sampler instead now let's create a new software track and choose the quick sampler as an instrument you can load any audio file into quick sampler or create samples by recording directly into quick sampler now you can drag a region from any track or from the file browser. If you want Quick Sampler to automatically set the tuning, loudness, length and loop points of the sample, choose Optimized. If you want to keep the original tuning, loudness and length of the sample, choose Original. Now you can see the current audio file in the waveform display and edit a number of sample playback parameters. After you've added the sample to Quick Sampler, you can choose the playback mode. First let's talk about classic mode. In this mode you can play a sound across the keyboard or loop the sample and the sample plays while you hold the key and stops when you release it. Drag the blue start marker to set the sample start. In snap pop-up menu you can choose different values so edits to crossfade, sample, slice or loop start and end markers will automatically snap to the nearest possible value. Snap to zero crossings helps ensure that no click or other noise is produced to the edit position. You can drag the gray fade in or fade out markers to adjust the length of the fade at the beginning or end of the audio file. Now let's look at some of the features available in classic mode. You can choose a keyboard note value that is used to play the sample at the original pitch. Keys below this will play the sample at a lower pitch and slower speed. Keys above this will play a sample at higher pitch and faster speed. You can fine tune your sample in tune field. Hold option key and press on any value to reset it. You can switch between forward and reverse playback modes. In a loop mode pop-up menu you can choose a loop playback mode. Then you will see yellow loop start and end markers. You can drag those markers to set loop boundaries. To smooth out glitches, drag the gray crossfade marker to adjust the length of the crossfade at the beginning and end of loop boundaries. Turn flex mode on or off if flex mode is turned on and all the sample is played at its original speed for all note pitches. You can also choose a playback speed division. Or multiplication value. Quick Sampler Amp Control set the level, pan position and polyphony. You can control the level over time with dedicated multi-mode envelope. You can switch between different types of envelopes. This alters the number and appearance of envelope parameter fields in the graphical envelope display. Filter controls are identical with synthesizers. Quick Sampler provides an extensive range of filter types including low pass, high pass, band pass and band reject filters. You can control the filter section over time with a dedicated multi-mode envelope. Parameters that are modulation targets are indicated by a white dot when a note is played. The modulation range is shown as an orange ring around target parameters.
Pitch controls affect the playback pitch behavior of the current audio file. Fine knob allows you to tune the instrument in sense. Glide knob can set the amount of time it takes to slide between the pitches of each played note. And you can control pitch over time with a dedicated multi-mode envelope. You can turn key tracking button on to change the pitch and speed of sample playback when different notes are played. Turn it off to play the sample at the original pitch and speed when any key is struck. Quick Sampler features two identical LFO units. Sync button enables or disables synchronization of LFO with the project tempo. You can use the LFO units to modulate or control different parameters. Choose the modulation target for the LFO from the target pop-up menu. In this example we use pan as a destination. Now you can set the amount of LFO modulation with the amount slider and choose from different waveform types used by the LFO. Fade time knob allows us to set the time it takes for the LFO modulation to fade in. You can click fade mode button to switch to fade out. Now we can use second LFO to modulate drive knob and filter section. Your keyboard modulation wheel after touch, pitch bend and other features can also be assigned as real-time control sources for quick sampler in the mode matrix. Next, let's move to the one-shot mode. It can be used to play an audio file or a portion of it. Notes run for the duration of the amp envelope when you strike a key. You can switch the playback mode to reverse. You can use this mode for triggering single drum sounds. Next, let's move to the slice mode and drag a beat into the sampler. Slice mode analyzes the sample and divides it into slices based on the transients in the sample. Then the slices are mapped to keyboard keys so you can play each slice independently. In slice mode pop-up menu you can automatically set divisions at transients or beat positions or divide the audio file equally. You can also manually set divisions by placing slice markers. You can right click on the marker and choose delete slice marker. Now let's go back to transit mode and see what we can do with sensitivity. With the sensitivity slider you can set the number of slice markers. Higher values display more slice markers. You can assign those slices to chromatic keys or only white keys. You can activate gate mode so it will follow the envelopes or play sample to the end. Next, let's create a drum machine designer track from a slice sample. Logic Pro automatically creates a new software instrument track with drum machine designer inserted. Each sample slice is mapped to a pad in a drum machine designer. You can edit each sample slice directly within the drum machine designer. Now let's close it and look at other ways we can create sample instruments. Press O to open loop browser. Now we can filter loop types to software instrument loops, which are essentially MIDI files. Now we can simply drag the file to the lower part of the track header. The MIDI region is converted into audio file and can be used in sampler. Next, let's look at the last one, the recorder. You can use the quick sampler to record the signal from any audio input. Activate monitor to hear the incoming signal. Also, you can choose to start recording immediately when the record button is pressed or when the signal reaches the defined threshold level. Then click the record button. Click again to stop the recording. And after it's done, you can choose different modes. Quick Sampler is a very effective tool and is usable as both an instrument and audio manipulation utility. Music